it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. We're going to be doing sublimation printing. Well, actually, we're going to get ready to do it. <laughs> so we're going to be adding ink to the new printer. This is the Epson EcoTank 2760. I bought it online through Costco's website. Um, it's limited to two per member. I mean, I only needed one. <laughs> but I want to say it was just around $300, including tax. I could be wrong, but right around that mark. There were cheaper ones that I wanted to buy, not from Costco. It was Office Depot, but it seemed like when I was ready to make my purchase, every eco tank at every possible store was out of stock. So that's why I went with this one because I couldn't wait. <laughs> I didn't want to wait. Um, but from what I could tell, the difference between the, the eco tank um, printers, like in that line, is just what it can print like it can print a wider paper or a thicker paper um but quality wise it sounded like it should all be the same but i'm going to be doing a lot of testing i'm excited to have a sublimation printer finally so we will test a lot of these things out on this channel i apologize for the way the second camera is working but only because I tried to make this all fit as much as I can. So I know it's a little weird. I may be in and out. All right. So first thing is um, I did do two colors already. So I want to show you how much of that ink was used. So if you could see here, I know, oh, and then I have to tilt it. Um, I would say in comparison, I left the darker colors. Um about a third of the bottle is left after i filled it almost all the way up so you're going to need to keep these you're going to need to keep the syringes unless you want to buy new syringes all right so what you do is you lift up this whole thing and you'll hear it click and it'll stand propped up you want to pull this up and here's where all your ink um, containers are so I've done the yellow and the magenta because I wanted to test it out to make sure I knew what I was doing and make all my silly mistakes, which there are some tips that I've already learned. Um, what I've noticed is I plan on keeping these syringes. I clean them pretty well, but I kept the, the color, the label on here. And I don't think that I needed to, but I was just being extra careful because you can see a little ink that's left in this part right here I couldn't get to it like you can't take it out so I'm gonna use make sure that the next time I use yellow with this syringe again so and same thing with the magenta you, everything else is clean except for this little part right here there's just like a ring of magenta It's so thin I don't even think the cat yeah the camera's not gonna pick it up but I'll take pictures so that if you follow me on Instagram you'll be able to see it and you will also agree with me that it's very minor, but just in case, we're going to keep the colors the same. All right, so this is what I've noticed so far. Um, when I, I did the yellow one first, and I was a little bit crazy with the syringe, and I got yellow ink all around there. So I had to clean it out. I took cotton swabs with tooth toothpicks and kind of just dabbed it out. I also got it on this mat, and it did stain it. So uh, I don't think you can see it, but it's one of those things like it's just faint yellow. I can see it's driving me crazy. It also makes me feel like I'm seeing spots. Um, so when I did the magenta, way better. I didn't spill it at all. So I'm going to show you what I did. So today we're going to be doing cyan and black. Um, so let's do the cyan first. So you just pull it apart. When I bought the hippo ink, it came with all the syringes, so it's, you know, ready to go. You want to pop this on here. And just so you know, I plan on doing just like 15 minute videos of each step. I don't want to do it all the way because I know there's cleanup and things that you need to get ready. So today we're just putting in the ink and then I'm going to show you how to set it up and I'll be sharing my, you know, my desktop so that you can see that. And then when we test out the printer and stuff like that, that's just going to be our normal videos with the projects. So um, just know I'll have a series for sublimation printing and the setup. Okay, so here's our thing. You put it in and, you know, just push it like I would push it down here. Leave some space because when we open this up, so we're going to do the cyan first. So one of my tips is don't open all of these. Only open the one you're gonna fill because in case you have a spillage, 
nothing goes down the drain for the others, okay? So let's do one color at a time. We're gonna do the cyan. I'm gonna pop this open. The other thing is, I highly recommend that when you stick this in, first of all, that there's still some, there's still some air left. We're gonna push all the air out. And you wanna tilt this bottle right away, even on the first draw, even though it's full, it's easier to tilt it and pull it back and you can see the ink filling up. So we're just gonna fill it up. My dreams of being a nurse or a doctor being fulfilled right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pull it out and I'm just gonna keep it up like this. So there's two little holes there. I'm gonna put it in one of the holes and then just slowly push down on it to release the ink. Now, when the ink gets down to close to here, stop. Because what will happen is when there's air and there's no more ink and you push out too much, it will blow up. So, um, you know, just trust me on that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put it in. And, you know, I'm just pushing down like, not so slow, but not fast, just taking our time. And then I'll pull out and show you how much I left in there. Okay. And so see, I've left about a little bit in there. So then I'm gonna stick it back in here. Same thing, tilt and draw. And we're gonna do this a few times. And I can't tilt it up to show you, but in the front, it's like, um, like a frosted pane window. So you can see where the ink is. I filled it not all the way to the top, but to the next line down. So pretty full. All right, so let's get this in here. And the way I'm doing it right now, it's just getting the ink in that little, um, the little holes. There's, it's not spilling out at all. Um, so a couple things, when you first get your eco tank, so all I've done so far is I've unboxed it. I haven't done anything. What you don't want to do is you don't want to plug this in until you filled it with ink. It also comes, so I'm tilting it right now and I'm going to draw. Um, it comes with, when you buy a brand new printer, the nice thing about buying a brand new printer is that you don't have to get the other ink out. So you just need to make sure you don't put the wrong ink in. And I'll show you that in a second. So I'm gonna pull this out. This blue scares me because it's like so blue. All right. And considering I stained my board with the yellow. <laughs> We're only like halfway. Okay, so I'm leaving just a smidge there. Put it in, tilt, and draw back. I will link to everything that I bought. Um, I'm not an affiliate with Costco, I wish. I don't even know if they have that. <laughs> but with Amazon, that's where I bought the, um, where I got the ink and the paper and the butcher paper. And um, it's already linked right now. So if you wanted to go to my Amazon shop, it's just, um, what is it? It's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. I just completely blanked out. All right, here we go. Um, so we're about, actually now we're about halfway. So we're gonna do this a few more times. But so far it's pretty easy, right? I got the mud press, as some of, 
as some of you may know. So I'm super looking forward to doing sublimation um, printing with the mug press. So I have lots of ideas if you have kids. I want um, Charlotte to be drawing a lot of things and putting it on mugs for everybody. Well, not everybody, grandparents. <laughs> People who actually want her stuff. <laughs> Okay, why is it, um, you know what, I'm gonna stop right here. It looks like it's bubbling up. So you do wanna put it, in, I think it's kinda hard to tell. It looks like there's still space, but I don't know why it's bubbling up. Let me see if I can put in a little bit more. Okay, it's definitely bubbling up. So I'm gonna pour out the rest in here, whoa. Okay. Ooh. You don't want to shake the bottles. And I'm like scared of this bubble. It's going to pop and get everywhere. All right, so I'm going to put this down. Okay, nothing on me yet. <laughs> I'm considering this a win. All right, so blue is down. I'm gonna close this up, open up the black one. So this one I'm going to leave, I don't want anything to mix. So I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna go get more paper towels. Give me one second. All right, so here is this for the black. And while I'm away, I might as well grab this. So this is the ink that came with the Epson printer. So don't open these and don't use it. Unless you have another one that you can use this. I'm just gonna keep it. I don't know if I'm gonna give it away to somebody or what, but I'll think about that later. Now your black tank is really big. So I'm thinking we can fill up this whole bottle. All right, so last one. this in okay stick it in tilt and let's draw this back and see what we get these bottles are let's see how big they are a hundred milliliters So I'm just slowly, like I said, gently pushing it down, getting it all in there, and I'm going to leave just a smidge above so that I don't get spraying of the air. Okay. Stick it in, tilt, and draw. So I, um, I want to test on the sublimation paper with laser paper because I know, oh, okay. So I don't know if you can see this, but I have a lot of air bubbles in this one. I didn't realize that I didn't have this tilted up, so it was drawing in a lot of air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can draw back a little bit more and get some ink in there. Okay. I'm a little bit worried about this one because I don't want I don't want it to push out air and spray us. So I'm going to go really really slowly. Okay, I heard a little like 
burst. So I'm going to throw it back in here. I'm going to push it down straight up. So I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it's what I'm doing. Then when I get to the bottom, I'm going to tilt it and redraw like I have been. I feel like I got the air out, so we'll see. So when it's in here, you also want to tilt this up so that the needle is totally down in the ink. Yeah, now it's drying a lot better. So I read a couple things. Um, one is it says to actually keep the print. Oh, it bubbled up for a second. Um, to keep the printer on all the time so that it doesn't clog up. So I will be keeping it on. I'm not going to bother testing that out. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, that's not something I'm going to test out. I'm going to test out quality of paper and you know to see what works best stuff like that okay let's see okay it's filling up well there's still plenty of room one of the first projects that i want to do is to have my daughter her kindergarten class is dla so oh Every time I talk, um, it bubbled up for a second. I don't know if I went too fast. Let me see if I need to. Oh, it got out on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna clean that up in a second, but let's see if we can get this. Actually, that's pretty. I'm gonna push down a little bit to get out the air. I think I had some air in there, okay. So I'm gonna tilt again, lift this up, and draw. So she's in DLA, which is Distant Learning Academy. And so she is distant the whole year, even though they're going back to school soon. So normally, you know, at the end of the school year when they're this young, right, they get like a big packet of all their cool artwork that we get to keep as keepsakes. But um, this year we won't have that. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna have each kid write their name and draw something. And then I'll print it on the sublimation printer and then put it on a mug. So each kid will get a mug. So their parents will have their drawing, their writing of their name and their age. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I was thinking for the teacher, maybe we can get them all to write their name and we could put, you know, her name, their names, and the year. All right, so this is filling up pretty well. I'm gonna do one more. Okay, so you see, now we're getting kind of low, so I'm really tilting it to make sure that I'm not picking up air bubbles, but I'm getting ink in my syringe. And it's really hard to tell with the cyan and the black how much is left in the actual bottles that it came in. So, but good thing I messed up, right? Because <laughs> I'm going to show you how I clean it. It's a learning opportunity, not a mistake. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do one more and then, and then we'll clean up. Okay, so I'm going to tilt it. I'm hearing a weird sound. Oh, you know what? 
there's a lot of air in this thing. That's what I was hearing. Okay. So even though my syringe, do you see where it is? It's up here and there's some black ink in there, but there's a lot of air and bubbles. So I'm going to keep this straight up so that I know there's room in this bottle. I'm, I'm going to press down to get rid of the air bubbles. All right, and then I'm going to tilt. Oh, did you see that? Okay, so I'm gonna tilt and draw. It's getting harder to draw it because they, there's so little ink. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more. So when you're doing this, I would say do it in a quiet environment so that you can hear you can hear the sound is different as you start to get air in there. Okay, there, I think there's just too much air in my in my syringe can you see that so there's like a big gap right there I'm gonna try to pour it back in here you see it's bubbling up I don't want this thing to like burst on me. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let this ink go. It's not worth saving. Okay, so that's all there. Oh, let me show you how to clean it. So I still have some cotton balls and I always have toothpicks nearby. Um, clean toothpicks, that is. I have a box of toothpicks because it's just nice to have, you know, they're small. So the thicker end, I'm just gonna wad up some cotton balls. Take a cotton ball and like do this. Twist it around. And then I'm gonna clean it up so you can see how much is picked up. pretty clean. Well, we'll see. Mm. I mean, it's still picking up stuff. And do it one more time and then that's it. And then I'll see you for the next step. All right. So stay tuned. I'm going to do it one more time. Let's see how clean we have it. Oh, and I just broke my toothpick. All right. Let's see. Oh, pretty good. I think we've almost got everything. Do you see it's barely? All right, we're done. I'm gonna close it, close this back up, push this down. I think we're ready for the next um, the next session. Bye, guys.